Hello darlings, Princess here, and welcome back to Bear With Me. Uh, last episode, we uh, talked to the Mugshot Brothers, right here. Uh, interesting characters, and something about the Reef King and other things that I didn't really get, but they don't know where Flint went either. Dramatic, dramatic stuff. Uh, so I have a key now to the parents' room. Also sword for no good reason and so we got to go back to amber and then unlock the parents room and see what's in there hello child how are you those two clowns are in there not being useful as always did you ask them about flint i did they didn't know anything i think they're just hiding from someone the red man that's my best bet but who knows with those two so flint's not in there no what should we do ted we have to find him well we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they, mm, totally just found lying on the floor. We should start there, then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You, too. Wow. <laughs> you mean great detective, Wendy. You, too. You know, not like you're doing a good job right now. Okay, parents' room. Gimme, 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 gimme. Open up. Mom. Mom. It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. Mama. Is my mom even here? That is a really intense, fancy... Um, I don't know what to make of this. That is plastic wrap. It's plastic wrap for your clothes. For some reason. Okay, so a suit. There's a camera. It's What's one camera? of my dad's cameras. It probably fell down by accident. So your dad's a photographer? I mean, it kind of seems like that way, because they have a dark room that's for photography usually, so... I'll take this film strip with me. Maybe I can develop it later. So we just took film strip? Okay. Where else to put them but underneath the bed where you sleep? Men, am I right? I mean, you're not wrong. My parents' bed. It's so big and comfy. My bed is like sleeping on a pile of rocks. Well, not really. It's really soft and fluffy, but this one's better. I remember that as a kid, like, the parents... Like, my parents never slept in the same bed, but always, like, my mom's bed was really comfy, and my dad's bed is comfy, and then mine always was just like, wow, it's really not as nice. A chandelier. It's French for fancy lamp. Not wrong. Creepy dude. A painting of some guy. Let's name him. Jeffrey. What do you think, Ted? I don't, but he does look like a Jeffrey. Jeffrey creepy face. His eyes would follow us around the room, if he had any. That's terrifying now, considering that statement. Some paintings depicting life in a small rural community. Autumn harvest and whatnot. Nice. I clear. feel like these should grow in a pond. I could be wrong. I see what you mean. High heels. I bet they make fun of short heels all the time. Don't we all? Hairbrush. For combing your hair. I like my hair more en naturel. You mean you don't brush it and just wear it whatever way it was when you woke up? Yep, that's the idea. Oh, that stresses me out so much. I hate that. I hate... Some weird plant is sticking out of it. I'm sorry, plant. That was mean. This thing is so dusty. It's like a... It looks like the thing um, to uh... Whatever. What were you getting at? This lamp is pretty. So tall and lean and lacy on top. It's like a supermodel lamp. <laughs> supermodel lamp. Oh yeah. An armoire. That's fancy talk for closet. I love I love that she knows these words, but then it's just like, it's fancy. Like, me too. It's always just a fancy word for something. Okay, we're going to the dark room. Oh, this makes me uncomfortable. There's a safe. It's a combination lock safe. Let's try to guess the combination, Ted. How hard can it be? Is it one, two, three, four, five? Maybe it's zero, 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 or, or 74? 
One, zero, s- Are you kidding me with this? Okay, you're right, I give up. Why are we trying to break into the safe, though? Nothing to see here. Move along now, Amber. Yes, sir. More rule I bet it's filled with boring landscapes. That's the only thing my dad takes pictures of. Okay, so we're getting him as a landscape photographer. If I had a sharp piece of bamboo and some sugar water, I could lure fireflies inside and use them as a makeshift lamp. Ingenious! You know your house has electricity. <laughs> Stop taking the fun out of everything, Ted. Extremely breakable, especially when thrown or dropped against a hard surface. I take it you've thrown these before, Amber. A book Amber. titled Developing for Dummies. I guess developers are dummies. This book is a good investment. I mean, yeah, sometimes. Uh, film enlarger. Look at it. It's some enlarger thingy. My dad explained it to me, but I might have fallen asleep while standing up. That's how boring that was. Gotcha. Oh, can I look at the film? Oh, no, I'm just turning it off. Nothing happened. There's something missing. We're missing something. Latent image. It's an empty image filled with, um, some silver dust. You put it in the machine over there, and then some other stuff. Then you get photos of my school recital. Can I pick it up? Okay, I have it now. Photo developer. Just a stuff. bunch of stuff used to develop photos. Uh, a timer. Okay. Um, canisters. Nothing interesting about this. Uh, tape. Duct tape, more specifically. I'll take this tape with me. I can use it to tape Ted to a flagpole. That's bullying. Seems like it's empty. You can pour something in it, like water or fire. How d Child. My mom uses the same one to wash Ted in. What? That's not true. I have a shower in my office. Oh, you do, do you? <laughs> Big ass bottles. Step right up, folks. Witness the amazing bottle twins. I love that they bleep it out, so like... It's just... <laughs> where where did she come up with that? Where did she come up with that? She's a child. Did she hear her dad call it that? Used to develop photos of you going to visit your boring old relatives that one summer when you had nothing else to do. Uh, there are lights. Guess this room isn't so dark after all. Okay, another pipe. Okay, so I have a latent image, duct tape, can I put- Are you even trying? Yes, I can. Can I turn this on now? Nothing happened. Can I put the film on top of it? Now can I do it? There. Is it over? Is that it? Looks the same to me. Some detective you are. Obviously something happened. We need to use the developing liquids now, and then we get the photo. Okay. Do we do... I can't use that. What do we do then? It has measuring units on the side. Not that I would know anything about that. I'm ten after all. Okay, so she is ten years old. Can we try the safe again? Oh, is it one oh seven? <gasps> yes! There we go. It was the number from the statue. Not a police code for anything, mister. I don't follow no rules. Ha. What do hey, we have these now? are the liquids for developing pictures. I'll take them with me. Okay, so we can use them ma, 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 on the containers, right? Yes. There. We just need the empty photo thingy to put it in. The empty photo thing? Okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, no. Ted. That's him. That's the red man. He's in my house. Okay, calm down. That could be anyone. Oh, no, it's him. He's in my house, and he did something to Flint. I have to find Mom and Dad. Wait, don't be so rash. There's probably an explanation for this. Don't get your parents involved, doll. They're having a hard time as it is. Um, this could be just a prank, is all I'm saying. We should get back to Million. Yeah, you're right. 
We have to wait, though. The room is locked by a mechanism connected to that machine over there, and it will unlock in a couple of minutes. My dad made it like this so no one would barge in and light up the room when he's developing photos. All right, so we wait. So, how have you been lately? What? Oh, that is uncomfortable. Oh my god. That is not oversized. I'm playing as the red man right now. Can we look at Rusty? Can we talk to Rusty? Can we, can we? Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. Oh, do we have to? Do I have to go into the parents' room? No, I'm in the hallway. Uh, can we go into Flint's room? No, it's still locked. I don't think he can. Can we go into Amber's room? <gasps> no, why'd you give me an achievement of murder? I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't know what was gonna happen. Uh, now I have to go save Millie. Oh, did I just kill? Did I actually just kill Millie? I just wanted, to... dude. Listen, that was on accident. I swear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, Ted, it's Millie. Damn it. Why would somebody do this? She was just a sweet old woman. She hasn't done nothing wrong to anyone. Poor Millie. I've had her since I was five. Almost as long as... Me. Yeah, I know. Doll, what do you think we should do now? I honestly don't know. Ted, I'm a bit shaken up at the moment. I have to go find Mom and Dad. Whoever this red man is, he's done something to Flint. Please. Don't get your parents involved again. I suggest we head out to Paper City and see what we can dig up on this guy. We can go down to the docks and talk to CBG. He's bound to know something. Again? What do you mean? What? I, I don't know. We should get moving. Is there any entrance to the city we can use at the moment? There's one in the attic. Maybe we can use that one. Yeah, good idea. Let's head out. Poor Millie. This is our fault, you know? We told Rusty we'd keep an eye out, and now she's dead. We've let her down. Hey, this is not your fault. That red freak did this. Believe me when I say this, doll. You can't save everyone all the time. People die. That's just how the dice roll. All you can do at times like these is keep your head up, think of the fond memories you have of her, and just keep going. We'll get that red bastard sooner or later. That's my promise to you. I know, it's just... It's sad, I know. But life gets sad sometimes. You just have to pull through, and happiness will find you again. Now let's go. We've still got a case to solve, and somebody's got to pay for this. I just killed Millie, and I didn't mean to. No point in dragging her around. It's all so disrespectful. I'll come back after all this is over and bury her back in the yard, underneath the pines. It's the most peaceful place in the world. It's a nail. Give me the nail. Oh, I didn't think that was gonna actually happen. <laughs> I'll just take the nail with me. The uses for it are practically endless. Um... I really did not mean to kill her. Since I'm paying for the view, I might as well enjoy it. Um, we're gonna we're gonna leave this room now because I killed Millie. And I did not mean to. I'm not laughing, I'm just kinda shook right now. <laughs> okay, so we need to get to the attic. That leads to th no, yeah. really. Okay. Okay, so we somehow have to get <sighs> that picture. Um Oh my god. Can we talk to these guys again and be like, hey, some stuff happened. Uh, I need you to talk. Like, now. Any leads on the missing kid yet? That's classified. You two remembered something. Nothing useful, probably. I remember having a crush on Beverly Christie in high school. 
I would follow her home from school every day. Then she saw me one day and called the cops. Now I'm a registered stalker, amongst other things. Not concerning at all. We'll have to. Uh. Oh my god. I'm still shook. I'm still like not okay right now. Okay. Didn't we'll have to I find another way. What other way are you talking about? Because can I use the sword on the key? Come on. That would have been really funny if I could use the sword on the key. Uh. I don't think. So. What can I use this? Are you Yes, I am trying do, everything here, woman. Do. Come on. <laughs> Highly breakable. Bel nothing in. I've always loved. It looks familiar. I feel like. Huh, yeah. I need something. Because there's a key there. I need. To get up to the attic, but I don't know how to get up to the attic. And Rusty is asleep, so asking him for help is kind of a no go. Can I go downstairs? No, it's just acknowledging that there are stairs. I need a I need something to grab it. Let's just go back into the bathroom and see if there's something that I can use. Um, it's full of... No. It's just one of the many cabinets around the house. Nothing interesting about it, really. True. What do I need? I have a nail. I don't know what the nail does. Can I use a nail on Flint's room? I can't use- Well, Amber, give me some ideas here, honey. You're not really giving me anything. That photo is so uncomfortable. That is- Can I- What? That actually worked? You just unlocked something with an old rusty nail? How convenient is that? That's just lazy writing. Don't be such a negative Nancy, Snoop. Of course it worked. My genius knows no bounds. I was gonna say, that makes no sense, but I'll take it. Yay, I got the hook thingy. I bet this will be super useful, like, really soon. Are you talking about the key? Can I get the key now? I would like that key. It's a nice key. Key. Come on! Are you kidding me? Can I put tape this on won't. It? Can I put this? Are on? you even? Listen, can I put on the sword? Are you... Um. That key is of importance, and I don't know what the key goes to. Wait, are you telling me I can? Uh, if I can use it on the attic, I'm gonna be really confused because that attic door is super high up. I don't think so. What am I you- Oh, I also think I know. Is it gonna be in Flint's room? Is that what I'm going after here? Is... I'm sorry I'm like clicking so fast, it's just like, it's such a slow transition that... Like, we've been in these rooms already. No. What do you mean, no? God, just give me something here, man. The dictionary defines a cabinet as a body of high-ranking state officials, typically consisting of the top leaders of the executive branch, usually called ministers. There you go. That's what this is. Only small. Yeah. It looks highly cuttable. Is that a word? Cuttable? <gasps> we, need the, we, need, we need the broom. I'm going to army knife it. Yes. Because then I could take the broom, put the hook on with tape, and then use it. Oh, and also grab this red cloth. I'll take it with me. Oh, is that it? There. Give me the broom. I don't like. 
Where was the broom? I need the broom. <laughs> Just some rope. I bet someone would not me, though. Oh, boy. I have no idea where the drawing guy went with this one. He's so mean. Okay, I have a red cloth now. I guess that's something? Uh, what does the red cloth do? Let's go back to Amber's room. It's not working, but that's okay. Are you even- No, I am not, because I don't know what you're expecting of me. Okay, guys, I'm kind of mildly lost right now. I could have just bypassed something really obvious, because I'm an idiot, quite frankly. But, ooh, this episode was a lot. There's mistakes happened. Mistakes. A lot of mistakes happened. But hopefully in next episode we can hunt down the red man, or at least it sounds like we're gonna be heading to Paper City, which I'm kind of interested to see. That clock just moved, but I'm interested to see what is gonna be in Paper City and the entire concept of Paper City because I don't know what it's about. But this was an intense episode, and I this game just sucks you in, and I love it so much because of that. But anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to me and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully, oh man, this game, this game is so intense. And I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever else I make because I am going to be trying to do the series alongside other videos. So yeah, see you guys in the next video guys. Peace.